Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven days a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. Today and for the next couple more days, we will be presenting some short wisdom stories. If you've missed any of the days of our Wisdom Trek, please go back to wisdom-trek.com and listen to the episodes or read the daily journal. We are recording our podcast from our studios at Home 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina today. This episode will release on Saturday when Paul and I will be returning from our seven-day podcasting cruise. After we disembark, we will be traveling to Fort Myers, Florida to visit Paul's aunt for a few days. This week while we've been at sea, we've had a series of podcasts covering short stories about wisdom without a lot of additional commentary. Once we do get back from the cruise and I start recording an additional podcast, we will remain in camp for a few days and dive back into the commentary on the book of Proverbs. But for today, we want to hike the mouse trail, as we see even the smallest acts of kindness can have a huge impact. So today's story title is Life is Like a Mouse. There are times in our life when we don't take action because we feel the act of kindness is just too little and it wouldn't make a difference. However, sometimes the smallest gesture can have a huge impact on someone's life. There are many different ways that we can show kindness to others. It doesn't have to be in any big way at all. The simplest of things can make a huge difference. A smile, a door being held open, a handwritten note, a kind word, and the list could go on and on. I was recently reading some of Aesop's fables and came across the story about the lion and the mouse. You may be familiar with it, and while this story's been around for a long time, it still has wisdom in its words. So let me tell you this story. One day a lion was asleep when a little mouse began running up and down its back. This soon wakened the lion, who placed his huge paw upon him and opened his big jaws to swallow him. Oh, please don't, cried the mouse. Forgive me this time. I shall never forget it. Who knows but what I may be able to do to you in turn some of these days. The lion was so tickled at the idea that the mouse being able to help him that he lifted his huge paw and let him go. Sometime later, the lion was caught in a trap. He pulled tight at it with all of his might, but the ropes were just too strong. Just then, the little mouse happened to pass by and seeing the sad plight in which the lion was in, He went up to him and with his sharp little teeth started gnawing away at the ropes and after a very long time he set the lion free. You once laughed at me, said the mouse. You thought I was too little to do a good turn. But see, you owe your life to a poor little mouse. And while you may think this story is a bit far-fetched and it is just a fable, the point I found in reading the story it is not the size of the action that's important but the difference that the small action made. Small acts of kindness do make a difference in ways that you may never realize. Do you have an opportunity to give small acts of kindness? Some people might think that they do not have a chance to show other people a small measure of kindness. But these opportunities are everywhere you go throughout your day. For example, if you ride on a bus, have you ever said good morning to the bus driver and greeted him? Or do you just ignore him or her and proceed to your seat? A simple good morning or good afternoon tells the person that you do acknowledge them, and it's even an acknowledgement that can help brighten their entire day. If you drive a car anywhere, do you let someone in traffic or you just keep inching forward along and ignoring the other driver? Stop and wave the other driver into traffic ahead of you. It's a small gesture of kindness that may influence the driver to do the same for someone else later. When you go into the supermarket or grocery store, Do you hold open the door for a young woman pushing a baby in a stroller, or do you just dart ahead through the door without stopping? When you are at work, do you say good morning to your colleagues, or do you just go about your business without even acknowledging their presence? Or how about the people that you meet on the street that ask you for money or they are peddling some various goods? Do you ignore them or give them no acknowledgement that they are also human beings and have real feelings? Proverbs 3.3 instructs us to... Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. And also in Colossians 3, verses 11 through 13, encourages us to do the following. And it says, Since God chose you to be holy people he loved, you must clothe yourself with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Make allowances for each other's faults, and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. So today we looked at why life is like a mouse 
and that even the smallest acts of kindness are very important both to us and to those who are recipients of our kindness. The lesson that we can learn each day from each other are so valuable. So encourage your family and friends to join us each day and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And for the next couple of days, we will continue to explore some more short wisdom stories. That will finish our podcast for today. Remember to listen to your daily dose of wisdom at wisdom-trek.com or subscribe at iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Google Play, or YouTube so that the episodes will be downloaded to you automatically each day. And please share Wisdom Trek with your family and friends, either through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person, and invite them to come along with us each day. I know that they'll enjoy it. The journal for today's trek can be found at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I consider you my friend as I serve you through this Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.